team. This is just unheard of right here. Fnatic being three... I mean, when you see Tyrael comps, you some often go, do I have Saints? Because if the answer is no, and you don't have Hard Holy Ground, it. it typically means you aren't fighting. There's the Polybomb. There's the setup into the taunt, into the lurking arm. The support of Cattle's going to be here. But the Saints... Are you kidding me, Dreadnought? It's just it mops you on Garrosh. That's what happens. ADRD's under a bit of pressure. It's going to go ahead and use the portal in, portal out. Fan coming on the back line. Oh, my God. I, that was insane. I don't know if you could, that, that was way too quick. Bring that up. The point that you made last game is conversely here on the other game where you can't do anything with it. The camps aren't up until one minute. That was about 45 ADRD. seconds. ADRD found the oh. after. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh. Falters now getting picked up that they get them. And it's just, you never want to forfeit any of those shots for free in that type of situation. You can appreciate the playmaking attempt, but Ze uh, Zealots is there to punish. Dread, I've had Towers of Doom. We've had it just over a couple of years, I think. And I still do not know how I feel about Mule on this map. Competitive. Oh, you know what? I, I, I've been yeah. trying to ban out the Medivh, getting the Abathur. In this case, though, it, it just didn't quite work out. This, I love this play. Watch. Keep your eyes on this Medivh play. Stopping fans. Dragon Blade with the Leyline. Watch this beautiful Leyline getting three heroes, isolating Psalm, allowing them to do so much damage here. And Shad, look at him. 10% HP, running away, getting Vero's last Moonfire, saving his life, and Psalm is about to drop 36 gems. Kill of four, Team Dignitas as Zarmony explodes, but the fight is not over by a long shot. Well, there's the stage drive to get out of the fight. Mom's in the back right, finally get poked down by Poik. Poik wanting to go for a chase, but ADRD has to escape for now. Shad and Chris are here. They look at JPL, but it's a little bit too much health. Dignitas trades one for two, but Zealots finally get a kill on the board. Yeah, Zealots get another kill on the board, and ADRD gets damage in 88 stacks for him right now and if this goes really late into the game there could be a huge amount of fight here yeah, again we're moving in and it's yeah it's the dual anomaly this is course. actually really scary because you drop it on the conveyor belts look now you have time traps constantly circling around zarmi's trying to control the point here here comes a wubby with the stage dive as dignitas realizes okay we're close to 20 but we can't give a protector if the protector goes over to zealots they have a chance to really come back into this if not then dignitas will hit the 20 and it will be really really difficult for them oh, but combo. Here, on the combos adrd with a damage attempt but the silence already through us we have is Armony looking for a chance. Cocoon on the conveyor belt, and again, Odin popped in the back line. Tigers couldn't get in there. A big oh. charge by Zarmony. Jet propulsion hitting four oh. members, oh. and Zelf clean oh up Dignitas. Unbelievable. It's a triple kill as we see the Zealots just going for it, and AD Army is wrecking nerds at this point. Point attempting to escape. You can run, but you can hide, buddy. He's down as well. The Zealots come out swinging with a quad kill. They will get the protector, and they are already on their way to take down the structs. You're able to get aggressive. Yeah, both teams also absolutely on point when it comes to the spray game here. Sprays coming out on both sides, and here comes the engage. Mopsio going straight for it. Great silence coming out of Stukov as well. Boyk is already in trouble and Chris is playing Chris. If Chris were to overstep his bounds, it would definitely go for the engage. They find a Mopsio instead. Mopsio dives in deep though and they are focusing on the and the silence is there. It's fantastic. Shaq with a place once again to kill the double. Off the stone, Trace that on Mel Furin. It's the triple baby as the Zealots go in and to overstep. They are spreading out as much as they can to make sure if Zealots do come in, they're able to back up. Power slide comes in and Mopsio misses. Yeah, Mopsio misses, but so does the engage. Here comes Arrow. They're going in the cage is down, but Chris is in trouble. And there's the death of Gul'dan as Dignitas goes in. The mosh pit, though. The mosh pit of Mopsio. They take down Tyrael, but they also start to lose out on Stukov. Leoric dies, and we have Snitcha shelling away together with Poik. The brothers are in one. Zealot showing some teeth here, going back in, but the hook connects on Zarmony. He's still alive, though, and the Divine Shield will keep him up. Chris comes in for a couple bottle attacks. May have overstepped, though. Gets a tether into it. Warden's case gets bounced around like a pinball machine. Chris continues to pop in. Here's the Riptire still bouncing, still alive, and finally falls. He survived a lot longer than I thought he would, but with Divine Shield... ...auf Seiten von Dignitas. Es sieht ja erstmal auf den ersten Blick nicht so aus, ja. weil man das Gefühl hat, die Zealots müssen reinfahren, und auf der anderen Seite stehen ganz viele Panzer. Aber ich glaube, in Wirklichkeit müssen Dignitas erstmal immer den Fight initiieren. Und sowas hatten wir ja vorhin schon mal, dass das äh, Team, was eigentlich super stark äh, hart engagen kann, dass das angegriffen wird. On the last altar, the last team fight will get the channel and become your Western class.
North America showed up in strength and went to the wire. Tempo Storm making the region proud. In the end, the two European teams going absolutely to the limit. Laurum diciendo que tienen que seguir manteniéndose centrados. Diablo is far scarier post 13 and 16. Yes. Devastating charge at 13. You get that, you stack that up, you do that percentage-based damage. There's a lot of terrain for him to bounce him around. You get that reset with your overpower at 16, you basically go full bam bam, right? If you remember the old Flintstones, you just bam bam. Or you might know somebody else from Heroes of the Storm. Uh, you know, bam, I, bam. I, there, there was a guy I used to play against. He might go under <laughs> the name of bam bam.